Hi, it's me, Ellen. Today I want to give you a little uh, introduction on how to set up uh, an online shop with WordPress. And the main option you have is to use the WooCommerce plugin. This is, um, as far as I know, the biggest plugin and it's maintained directly by the makers of WordPress and the automatic team. So I think it's the safest option. And of course, with an online shop, you want the safest options. And then also um, one more advantage is that with WooCommerce you get a lot of extensions and plugins and add-ons. So I think um, it's the just the biggest um, plugin you can use. You can also try out the Easy Digital Downloads plugin. So that's uh, if you want to sell digital products only. But with Woo WooCommerce you can also only sell digital products. So uh, you can do both with this. Since setting up a shop is quite complex and you definitely need a lot of time and maybe some help if you're not too familiar with WordPress and WordPress themes, plugins and maintaining websites or shops, I think it's a good option to get some help for this. But I, I still want to give you a little overview what's, um, what are some tips and what you need to do and what you need to think of. So the first uh, tip and one important thing, especially if you have a little bit of, bigger, of a bigger store or you plan that your store will grow, you need to think of very good hosting because you want to have your website be fast and reliable. Then of course, because you will have customers, you need to make sure that everything is on the legal side and that you set up your store, depending on the country you're in, legally correct. And I just know from uh, Germany that there are very strict rules and there's a plugin to help you uh, make your shop legally in Germany. It's called uh, WooCommerce Germanize. So you have a look at this. It's uh, really good recommendations. You still probably uh, want to have a lawyer or some experts look over the shop once it's done. Uh, so just to make sure that everything is legal, legally correct. The big advantage of WordPress is that um, everyone can develop plugins. So with WooCommerce, since it's such a huge um, plugin and WooCommerce is actually free, but for the add-on extensions they're called or plugins, depending where you purchase them, you probably need to pay a fee for each plugin. And since you will earn money with your shop, um, it's also okay that they are paid plugins and Another thing we really experienced over the years is that you really should take care that the plugins are maintained well and maybe um, before you purchase a plugin check out the reviews on the plugin because there are so many plugins out there and some are developed uh, better and some are coded not so well or are not working with the latest WordPress version. We had a lot of um, trouble with plugins in the recent years so you always uh, should make sure that everything works and you need to run some testing again because it's an online shop and it can be quite complex and also the plugins can be quite complex the add-on plugins to WooCommerce um, you really need to be careful which plugins you choose just to give you a first overview of what uh, kind of plugins you probably will need or uh, that are recommended. First, there are plugins to help you with shipping. If you uh, don't have a digital uh, store, you want to have everything uh, with the shipping going correctly. And there are plugins or extensions on the WooCommerce website to help you with this. Then, of course, the invoicing. There are plugins for this. You can have plugins for sending out automatic uh, PDF invoices and you can connect your WooCommerce shop to uh, services like Xero or FreshBooks, with, which is really convenient. Then um, you can, of course, have additional payment options and plugins for this, like Stripe or PayPal. Then, of course, um, there are also a lot of plugins for stuff like marketing or connecting your shop to your newsletter like MailChimp. I would um, in the beginning especially be a little bit careful not to add too much. Uh, just maybe go step by step and have a look that everything is set up correctly and working before you add like 10 plugins and then you don't if there's an error somewhere you don't know where it's coming from so I would just um, go slowly with these 
but you probably want to do some uh, marketing things like add coupons and all this and you can all do this with uh, WooCommerce so um, there are a lot of lot of options you can try out of course because um, we have a lot of international uh, customers or blog readers like from Germany Switzerland or Austria we always get asked um, how to set up and shop with another language maybe you want English and you have some customers from Spain or Germany so you want a another language and this is a little bit tricky actually I hope at some point you won't need an additional plugin because in the recent years we have the same issue and we have always a little bit trouble with the translation plugins I don't know if there's a perfect solution actually out there I haven't found it yet um, but at the moment there are two plugins I think you can use and the main option out there for WooCommerce it's called um, the plugin is called WPML and it's the only plugin I know that works with WooCommerce but actually I'm not the biggest fan of the plugin because we had so many um, problems with it over the years it can slow your site down and there are issues um, with updates so you really need to be careful setting up a WooCommerce shop in multiple languages there's another plugin out there that could be an option I haven't tried it myself it's called Polylang and there are extensions for WooCommerce but I'm not sure because it's kind of new the WooCommerce extensions I'm not sure I haven't found a lot of information online on how well the extension works and um, how well it's compatible with WooCommerce and WordPress at the current moment. So if you have any feedback on that or if you have it tried out yourself, please let me know. I would love to make like another blog post or something about this because I always get asked these questions. So these are just a few tips and recommendations on what to think of when you start an online shop with WordPress. I know it's a little bit overwhelming at the beginning, but there are a lot of options and I think WordPress is a good solution for an online shop. I think the biggest advantage of a WordPress shop is that it's so flexible and with all these um, plugins and extensions out there for WooCommerce and other online shop plugins, I think it's the most flexible solution and you can maintain everything yourself. So I think this is the biggest advantage and I hope this video was a little bit helpful to give you a first insight and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to answer them or make a follow-up video and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed watching the video thank you bye